All right, so this is my current solution for uh, using the Rode Wireless Pro as timecode master um, on a C70 and a R5C. Um, so the benefits of using the timecode obviously is the audio tracks that the two transmitters record internally are then easily, more easily synced in post um, then especially the other scenario I find myself in where I have the RX generally connected to my C70 as my ACAM and that's taking the monitored, um, I monitor the, the audio inputs through there and, uh, but then I'll jump to the R5C as my gimbal camera and um, I generally don't have a way of monitoring audio um, on the gimbal just in case talents doing a piece to camera or something as we're moving with the gimbal. So what I have been doing is using a spare Rode Go 2 um, and a double, like a headphone jack splitter. I can monitor the headphone via headphones on the, on the C70 and then send one of the out, headphone outs to a Rode Go TX to my C R5C and then put that in as the mic. So you kind of get scratch audio that way. But so now I can also use time code just to make sure I've got both connected um, and get a better sync basically. Um, so my convoluted way currently, um, because I still want to be able to monitor the audio on the C70. So I don't want to leave the Rode Wireless Pro in the time code setting that I use to set it initially. Um, just a quick add in here, I didn't record on the day that you can totally do this on the iPhone using the Rode Central mobile app and the supplied lightning to USB-C cable. Come into the Rode app, um, go into your unit. You wanna then go into split uh, routing and timecode rather. I use timecode five, press apply, take the unit back off again. Um, so I've got a Deity uh, 3.5 to BNC. Uh, I'll chuck the 3.5 in the RX of the Pro and I'll go to the timecode input on the C70 uh, and I'll actually before I put it in I'll just show you I've reset the time code um, so it's currently just showing 29 5 29 6 29 7 um, and when we plug the wireless pro in It'll sync to it. So now it's 15 and you'll see that that matches on the go or the pro rather. Okay. So I can then take that off uh, and it'll just free run on the C70. You want to only use that for about three or four hours um, and then just resync it on a break or something between shots. Um, on the R5C, um, I use the same cable, uh, but this time I've got a connector uh, for the long um, time code jack. You definitely need the long one, otherwise it gets stuck in the R5C. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, I've also then got an adapter um, to be able to put them together. Okay, so time codes just on free run at the moment. The wireless goes on about 15. So it does real time. So it's three, eight past three. So once I plug it in, um, so that's now receiving time code from the wireless pro so 1508 46 47 48 
49. So then you can unplug that and just leave that in free run. It's convoluted, I know. Um, if you're on a job with a soundy, they'll just sort you out with a um, tentacle sink or um, or the Deity version or something. Yeah, there's heaps of options. Um, so they, the cameras are now in free run but synced to the same time code. Then the um, we grab the goes out, the transmitters out, the pro transmitters. Um, so they'll turn on, but in um, mode five, time code mode five, there's no audio coming through this to then monitor on the camera. So what I would definitely suggest um, is then putting it back into the computer and turning it back to split. Um, and they will stay synced and you'll be able to monitor on your camera. I will just show you when you first take it out of the computer and it's in timecode five, you won't see the timecode come up. So you just need to press the, um, I guess it's the right hand side button a couple of times and you'll come up to showing the timecode. That way you can just visually check that the timecode on the Pro is the same as your cameras. Um, I'll pop it in the camera. Um, I use a, a, um, a, a mini XLR um, left and right to a 3.5 jack. So I can send the left and the right signal out to the um, mini XLR one and two ports. Um, so I can still get a split channel on the C70. Um, that's been the, the, the smallest and it looks convoluted but that's been the, the tidiest way for me to be able to do it um, without having to use XLR adapters, um, which make everything bulkier. Um, so now I've now got my time code. I'll show that up here. I now have my time code um, running. I've got the left and the right. So test, 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 left. Right, 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 right coming out um, so I can monitor and record on camera as well as having this the safety of the time code hope that helps cheers